For the best film breakdowns, scouting reports for the NFL, and our boxing, follow Okoye Media on YouTube and or Facebook. You can also follow me individually on Instagram just to see how I do it, what it is that I do, at I am underscore A-K-O-Y-E. And remember, Okoye stands for accumulated knowledge over years of experience. So tune in and let's learn something together. Thanks. Let's take a look at Cameron Fleming, who the Cowboys just signed. One thing you'll notice that jumps right out of the screen is that he's naturally very, very strong. And I don't think people give him enough credit for that, probably because when you look at him, you just see what he does against players, but you don't really pay attention to what those same players do against other teams. Uh, Here he gets a little confused on the blitz pickup, but, you know, that's going to happen. His pass block footwork and strength, uh, is really his his game. You know, you see how he just throws Cameron Wake to the ground. You see how he hand checks um, Sue without a problem. He does struggle, however, uh, with run blocking on the next level. And it's not because of strength. He has the strength for it. He just doesn't have the footwork. He kind of leaves his feet behind quite a bit when it's time for him to get to that second level of the block. And he tends to fall when he does that. Whenever he leans forward, he falls. Uh, you know, here he goes leaning again. Uh, you'll see, look to the right, uh, and wait for this play to start. There it is, against Sue. You see how he's leaning full tilt there? Uh, if if Sue yanks him, he's going to fall. And he doesn't yank him there, but he can. That's what they kind of did to him. Uh, here he goes. He's in the hole there. He's trying to get to that next level to, to get to Kiko Alonso, and he trips up, and Kiko blows him up. And he keeps letting that happen to him. Uh, here he gets a little bit of payback on Kiko. He kind of chop blocks him down there. But, um, that's what I, I, I kind of like about the guy. Uh, he really is a smart player. Uh, he, he passes his block inside there and gets to the outside to pick, to pick that blitz up. That's not a very easy move. That's very sophisticated, uh, very sophisticated. Here he is on the ground again, though, uh, versus the run, trying to get to Lawrence Timmons and trips up. So I think Zeke is going to like him less than Dak will. I think this is a Dak a Dak signing. Um, And because of this signing, though, one thing that he shows um, on screen, uh, he he started five games for the uh, for the Patriots last year at the end of the season, I think, into the playoffs as well. But um, one thing that he showed, uh, especially if you watch the first Dolphins game with the Patriots and what they did to Brady versus the second one, um, he's a starter. Uh, We don't need a new lineman in the first round as a result of this guy. Uh, and I think that's exactly what Will McKay was thinking as well when he signed him. He holds his own against, you know, all types of ru- rushers. His punch is very hard. I mean, look at this punch. And this is C- Charles Harris. And Charles Harris is a, was a top flight rookie. Uh, he chops him on this play to get his hands down so he can get that ball out to the flat. Uh, he punches him to the ground a few times. Um, he just manhandles him. You know, he's not fooled by this blitz here. You see how he gets back out. He kicks out and still picks up Timmons. So, you know, you can't really trick him. And here's an example of his strength. This is Harris's strength that we're showing. Now, he's been throwing this kid around, but look how Harris just bust through the middle of the line and just threw the center to the ground like it was nothing. And that's what he was up against. That's what Fleming was up against all night, that wake and Sue, and he dealt with it. Uh, here, he, here he is beating up Harris again. You see him punching him, to the, punching him almost to the ground that time. Uh, so what I'm saying is he's just too strong for a bull rush, too strong to hand fight. He has educated sumo wrestler hands, so you can't really get to, get through with that. There's two guys rushing him there. He he pushes the inside guy to the inside and picks up Wake on the outside. That is great, and that's kind of hard for any lineman. Uh, he covers a lot of ground with his kick step, so you see how much ground he has to cover there. But he gets there. Even though on that play he had a chip block to deal with, uh, to help with anyway. But um, you'll see later on that he does it even without the help. He has educated feet. Look at this. Change of direction. Now look at that. Now this is an example of slow kick and bad footwork and what happens afterward. Against Harris. You know, this is the same season, you know, against Tennessee. You know, so Fleming is on an island when they when they come wide and he handles it whether you're you know and usually when the defender goes wide like that they're doing it for a series to to get you to kick out fast so that they can set you up for that inside move so that way you know you see how he kicks outside right there he's going to do that like four or five times on these wide splits uh against uh, cameron wake and then you'll see that they try to work their way inside of him 
later on. Uh, not on this play. On this particular play, it was designed for him to get outside of Wake so that Brady can roll. Uh, he needs to work on his, 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 his run blocking coming forward, though. You see there, he ends up on the ground. Every time he comes forward, he's on the ground. But you see, they bull rush him. Doesn't work. That plays into his strength. Uh, Sue's bull rush. Doesn't work. Looks better, but doesn't work. Uh, this is Allen Branch's uh, bull rush. Doesn't work. This is what Cam, uh, Cameron Waite can do with a bull rush. He's going to push this guy right into the quarterback and sack him using his own blocker to sack him. And that's how strong he is. But look at what he does when he comes up against Fleming. Nothing. Nothing. Can't do anything with that. I can't run around him either. So you see how wide he comes? He's trying to get to that outside shoulder. He gets chipped back inside, but can't get around him. When he tries to bend, and that's, that's just when they try to go underneath the block, when he tries to bend, he gets pancaked. Here he is bending here. He gets to the outside shoulder like he wants to. He gets that bend. Boom. He gets underneath. And then he makes, makes a play. So that's really what they've been trying to do to Fleming all night. You know, they can't get around him. Can't get around him. He has very fast feet. He's very smart when it comes to stunts, too. And for anyone who doesn't know what a stunt is, you see how Cameron Wake is coming inside and Sue's trying to pr pr rush and occupy the outside shoulder of two blockers. Um, you see what they do here. They try it here against the Raiders, and Sue actually breaks through and makes a play. Uh, Fleming doesn't fall for that, as you can see on the previous play. He just doesn't fall for it. So he's too smart and disciplined for stunts. Uh, and I think him alongside of Martin is going to be great. His hand fighting ability, great. You know, I, I mean, and I'm not trying to pump the guy up, but Sue and Wake, that's their game. They're strong bull rushers. They're fast. They can hand fight. So they bring all elements of a pass rush to you. And against Fleming, they look like nothing. They really didn't do anything. You see how he passed this guy? He passes Sue inside, even though Sue tried to widen out. He passed Sue inside and then survives that punch from Wake on the outside. That is excellent tackle play. That's excellent offensive line play on any level. Uh, here's the, an example of Cam's, Cam Wake's strength at the point of attack. Look at this. And this is against Buffalo. He just takes him right to Tyrod Taylor. So, you know, that shows you how strong Fleming actually is. There he is again. Now, he didn't have good leverage on that play, but he, he bought uh, Brady enough time to throw the ball. Now, here's a split. And when I say he doesn't get beat on the split, you see how wide he is, how wide Cameron Wake is? He tries to get up field, boom. And he takes that he takes that outside shoulder, and uh, and Fleming survives it. Here's another one. He has to kick out and cover a lot of ground. There was no chip on that play. I think Wake stopped because he thought he'd be chipped, but he didn't get chipped. Now they tried to come back inside. Now that's an example of why they come wide like that. When you do wide nine, you're coming up up the field first, tr trying to get the guy to kick out and trying to hope that he loses his discipline so that you can come inside just like this. You see how they have seventy isolated there. Boom, he's going to come inside just like that. That was Charles Harris doing it. But that doesn't work against Fleming because he, he has good discipline. And he has quick feet for a big guy, uh, and he's good going backwards. He's like a boxer that, that can go backwards and fight on his back foot. He's not real good coming forward, but uh, going backwards, he's an ace. So I think having him out there is going to be great. You know, here's an, another example of how strong uh, um, Wake actually is. You see how he just – Cam fights this guy and, and, and gets right to it. Um, that doesn't work against Fleming. Here's another example of Fleming hitting the ground, though. He needs to stop doing this. Uh, I think he just he just needs to work on, you know, bringing his feet with him uh, because power is not an issue. He definitely creates the first hole that he's supposed to create. Like, he creates this hole here, and it's a touchdown, but he always winds up on the ground on run fits, and that's because he doesn't bring his legs. His run-blocking footwork is his only knock. So I would say he's an A plus pass blocker, uh, you know, A at least, uh, and a B minus run blocker. And the reason to say B minus, he's strong enough to pop you out of the way. You're not going to run him over. Uh, but at the same time, he doesn't uh, he doesn't bring his legs. So he'll work on that. And he'll get better. Uh, one thing to keep in mind: this kid's experience. Uh, he has playoff experience, three years, four years of playoff experience. Uh, so more playoff experience than our entire offensive line. And he's only 25. This is an excellent bargain pickup uh, for Will McKay. I have to take my head off to him once again. I uh, thank you guys for watching.